Hey, what's going on guys? So here we are with another video. I'm gonna walk you guys through what it is I use when I fish for stripers and halibut in the bay, whether it be from shore or from the boat. Um, I'm gonna just kind of walk you through what I use, some of the gear, some of the lures, some, some swim baits. Um, we're also gonna go over uh, all the leader material that I'm using and, and so on. So. Let's get started. I'm going to move this camera around. You guys can check out what's exactly in my tackle box here. All right, so first off, we're going to start off with one of my favorites that I use for the San Francisco Bay. Um, probably one of the most used uh, tackle that I use here. With lures. Uh, which is one of my favorites right here. Which is really hard to find now because... They're only being made by Daiwa. They just continue making these. These are actually called the Daiwa uh, DS Minnow. And uh, let's see, they have a, another one called DC Minnow, which is also popular. Uh, let's see, I got quite a few. These are, these have been through a lot. You know, I think it's time to replace these hooks. Uh, these seem to work really well when I fish from shore, for stripers and stuff, and halibut. Um, had really good success on them. A lot of fish. Most of the videos you see me catching fish from shore, whether it be like Rooster Point, the, the Peninsula, San Mateo, all that stuff. It's on these guys. Uh, I've even caught them across the bay, San Pablo Bay, Alameda, all over the place. Those work really well. If you can find them, go online. eBay sometimes has them. Um, like I said, these are the Daiwa DS Minnows and the Laser Rainbow Chartreuse. Okay. Uh, also, there's a newer or smaller SP minnow that's, that's out there, it's available. It's pretty close to it, but it'll do the same job, okay? This color seems to work really well for me. I know some of you guys use the bigger SP minnows on the surf. That'll work too. Uh, just remember the bigger SP minnows are kind of big for the bay, but it'll work, okay? Another one of the new additions to the to the tackle box here is these lures from this company called Vense. They're out of, out of Florida, okay? This is a joint project with one of my good friends and former San Francisco Giants player, 2012 World Series champion, uh, Marco Scudero. Okay, I met I met these guys at the ICAST show, and uh, what can I say? You know, they're good people. They got some good stuff. Nice little top water poppers. These are called the Juggernaut poppers. Um, they mostly use these in Florida for peacock bass. They also fish in Amazon, so you can imagine these are really strong, really tough lures. They come in a variety of colors. You see that, that same pattern as that as that last lure I showed you. I love that color. The color is one of my go-tos. Okay, of course your white you can't go wrong. This orange right here looks really good. Nice chartreuse colors. So we'll be throwing those out. We get those striper boils or early in the morning out in the bay. Okay. These are also lures from Vente. As I, as I mentioned earlier, I got some nice stuff. Go ahead and check them out. Let me show you. There you go. They also have these, these lures right here. I had this signed by Marco Scudero. Obviously, these are the colors of the Giants. They have them different colors for, for the various teams he's played for, but that's pretty cool to have in your, your collection there. This is Marco Scudero, 2012 World Series champs. So, as you guys know, I am a Giants fan. Born and raised in San Francisco, so it's a big part of uh, who I am. So, go Giants, right? So, these are some of the lures I use. I also came across this one a couple of years back. This is a Shimano wax wing. It's not your ordinary wax wing, it's a little, little thicker, more of a floater. That one works really well. You cast it out, you know, and the water's nice and calm, and it just swings left to right, back and forth. This has caught quite a few fish as well. So if you can find them, go ahead and get them. That's a good one. So that kind of covers that, that whole section there. I do have a new addition to my arsenal this, this season, which is the Kalissas. These are the 110s. Come in a variety of colors. There's a barred perch. Kind of see. The white glow. Your glow sardine. Okay. See, I got quite a few of these in here. 
I will be giving a couple of these away in this video. So kind of stay tuned here and we'll see how we do this. So these are really, these are really good too. I've already tested them out a little bit. They cast well, they swim well. Uh, just because we're in this whole, whole quarantine shelter in place stuff, kind of limits me on where I can go. Some of the places I'd like to go are closed and I'm not really trying to get into any issues by going these places it's just for some fishing for now. But I am gonna be using these guys right here in the bay um, and on the surf, we'll do some perch fishing, some stripers now. Uh, slowly get back into that again, okay? So go ahead and check these guys out. I also have a promo code that I'll put in my videos. You get 10% off these guys if you order them online. There are some new colors coming out. Uh, Mike's Tackle Box had mentioned and sent me some pictures. He also posted some on, on his IG. It's a new chartreuse color. It's badass. I can't wait to get my hands on them. So props to them. We're at Kalissa. Go ahead and check those out. Who knows, maybe we'll have a custom Stilo color one day. It could happen. We have the technology. Okay, so let's close this bad boy up. Of course, you also want, always want to carry some some pliers of some sort when you're out fishing. I also got these from Vence. These are really nice, you know, light. I do have a have a few pairs from P-Line as well. I keep those on the boat. Those are the heavier duty stuff. Uh, some line snips. I also have line cutter rings on me at all times. Uh, one of the main things I use to attach all my lures, if I need to attach them, is uh, these snaps right here. These are from P-Line. These are the technical snaps. Uh, this one right here is a size 2. It'll hold up to 44 pounds. It's more than enough. Your lures slide off and on your line really easy. Okay, that's always an extra bonus to have it on there. Let's put this bad boy back in here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go over. As you guys all know, I love my swim bait fishing, right? So, for me, when I'm out there, I have a variety of swim baits. I I do make my own now, um, but I am also working with the guys at Madam Lure too. So, you know, I make my own just out, out of pure boredom, especially now that we're in this quarantine. But these are probably what you're gonna see to the most of. These guys, I got some custom colors coming out, these guys. So, hang in there, we'll get them. I got a batch of something yesterday, a little bigger. But I try to go for the four inch, like five inch baits. Something that resembles these natural baits that they're eating out in the bay. Your anchovies, your smelt, you know, sardines, whatever, whatever they're getting a hold of. Even these greens that look like, you know, a little bullhead mud sucker. That seems to work really well. Um, I generally like to use the two and a half ounce and three quarter ounce. Right, like I said, uh, I generally like to go half ounce, three quarter ounce at the most in the bay. Um, just because the bay is really shallow, you know, it's not too deep. The average depth is what, five, six feet, eight feet tops. Um, so I got a variety of swim baits in here. Some I've made, some I picked up at shops. Uh, these have been some recent ones I've just kind of fooling around with. These are from Bass Pro, called Speed Shads. Uh, those are fun too. They got a nice little action. They're soft. Might not last more than a fish or so, but they work. Um, as you can tell, those colors, that green, you know, kind of like I said, resembles all the bait fish. Yeah. So, just kind of give you an idea. I always like to carry quite a variety of these things because the bite's hot. It's just hot. You know, you just never know. You know. So, your whites, your greens, chartreuse. Um, I had this one rigged up, doing some drop shot for halibut. It's a future video coming up. So, as you see, I got I got a trailer hook on there. These are made by VMC. And they're called the VMC trailer hooks. So, that way, when you get a halibut that comes up, and always they always short strike, or they miss, they chew your tail off, whatnot. At least this way, if they come up and grab it, they're kind of stuck. You know what I mean? So, you might just want to check those out. I'll put those in there as well. Um, so, I just kind of get creative, different colors. And they work really well. And this one's a new little color I've been playing with. So, but always always bring a selection. So, these are more of my greens and my whites and stuff like that. Let's get the other box out. I 
got. Okay. There's other colors right here. Um, you know, of course, I got more greens. I got some blues and stuff like that. Uh, this kind of pattern which works really well. I do these for the boils, and you see in the videos. Um, cast them out. This one's one of my originals. Really chewed up, as you can tell. It's been through a lot. Um, but yeah, they love that color. Here's another one that I got rigged up for that short strike. Okay. It does not really affect the action of the bait, but it helps a lot. That's why you see these things when they get stuck when I'm fishing, they don't come off. Another little color I kind of created here. So you see most of these are four inch or five inch. You can use those technical snaps, or I also have these right here. These are also from P-Line. These little snaps there, those work. Um, this is just another color I just kind of created by accident. But this is what the VMC trailer hook looks like. Let's say, for example, I'm going to put it on, uh, on this guy right here, okay? So it comes with a little surgical tubing. I'm just going to slide this over just like that. Pop it right through. Okay, once it's through, you slide it down the shank of the hook. Okay, and check that out. Now you're not gonna even lose that, that halibut or that striper that just chews your tail off. Now we're really gonna just get it. Okay, so that'll help you a lot. It's one of the things I do that not many people really try or have discovered yet, but that helps me a lot. So just remember, you know, a lot of these places you guys are fishing from shore. Um, try to take a look at the bait that's out there in the water. Just try to resemble that that whole bait pattern, you know. You know that seems to work a lot. Uh, clears work really well. Also, you know, depending on the water conditions, if it's murky. Then try some brighter colors. You know, some of this chartreuse stuff, white. You notice when I fish, I I tend to look for the same conditions, as I said before, for halibut. I like my water clear, not windy. When there's wind, it gets really choppy, really nasty, really muddy. That totally affects your your overall presentation of these, these swim baits, the lures. Um, so keep that in consideration. Next thing I'm going to go over is what I use for my leader material. Okay. So as you all know. I love my P-Line stuff. The P-Line Shinsei is what I seem to use the most of. Uh, 20, 25, and 30 are my go-tos. If I do need to step it up here and there, depending on what's going on, or if I want to hit the beach, I use a 30 and 40, okay? But I would say 25 and 30 are most popular for me. I'll use 20 if I go to the beach for perch, um, which you'll see in these videos. I'll probably do a video later on, on how to connect your, your leader material to your braid. Uh, I strongly suggest you guys use between 30 to 40 pound braid for the bay. Uh, I like something smooth that will cast really well. There's lots of options out there. I'll go over that in a future video. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much what I use right here. This is made in Japan. It, it, it ties really well, strong. I actually caught um, a 70 pound bluefin on this stuff right here on the 30 pound shinsei it took me about an hour and a half but i landed it yeah kind of crazy this is, it's in one of my other videos that you guys can check out as well just go back in there so let's see what else we have in here here we are here's some jig heads this is pretty fresh i keep a nice nice amount of these these are made by my good friend Captain Paul Velez, Boss Hawk. That guy is really crafty. He makes a bunch of stuff too, just like me. Um, I gave him some hooks not too long ago. And uh, like I said, now that we're in quarantine, we're all bored, we're home, we're making stuff. He hooked me up with some fresh jig heads for my swim baits. And uh, there you go. You know, I always carry extras. Of course, you will snag. It sucks. It's part of the game. But make sure you have what you need, you know. I'm sure you guys can figure out how to make your own or just buy some of these, but, you know, the plain silver stuff works like that, you know, or you can get the little fancier ones with the, the eyes on them and whatnot, uh, something like that, you know, 
but half ounce, three quarter ounce, is what you need for the bay. Um, of course, if you get into the, the ocean or something like that, sir, you want to go a little heavier, then you got to step it up, okay? Uh, let's see what else we have here. Next thing I'm going to go over is I do normally carry some of these guys with me. Uh, lately, it's been all the swim baits and stuff, and allures. But I got some, I got some bucktails. I do got a few more that I got to go pick up for my storage that I got from Wayne Baker, a jig addict. Kind of similar to these guys. He makes these really nice bucktails. So I'll get a hold of those and I'll share them with you later. But uh, hit him up. He's a good buddy of mine. He makes some badass bucktails for the surf, for the bay. Whatever you want, you know. He's got some really good stuff. Okay, that one more thing that I'm gonna show you guys now is what you see me trolling in the bay. These are some of the original ones that I've been using. I have more in my boat, but you can tell they've been used, okay? And they're, yeah, they're still going tough as nails. These are from P-Line. This color right here is one of my go-tos. You can tell it's pretty chewed up, it's pretty beat up, but it's still going, okay? I caught my biggest striper ever on this. This thing was well over 25 pounds. Uh, I caught it while I was trolling for halibut. I always put one of these rods out off the back of the boat while we're doing halibut. And uh, put one of these behind the boat 20, 30 feet and let it do its thing, okay? Um, I do smother this thing and procure predator. What I do is get some of this stuff and I just start from the, from the bill all the way down on the back of this thing, okay? Just cover it, you know, go heavy. So I get these big bottles from the guys over at Procure because I use a lot, okay? And what that does, it creates a nice scent trail. And uh, these things are UV enhanced with the Pro Cure. So, see it? it says UV flash. That'll help you a lot. But um, this is one of the go to colors. I think they discontinued it. It's going to be really tough to kind of replace that. But they do have some other colors that work well. You can tell. It's kind of the same thing. I, I tend to go for what, what looks like bait. Now, they have another version of this, of this lure. This is the P-Line, is the Predator, it's a shallow one, so you can, you can cast it from shore. i probably remove the middle hook so it doesn't get all fouled up with your braid, but um, this one's going to go a little shallower, maybe like three to four feet or so. Uh, if you're going to troll in shallower water, I suggest going with that one. This one I obviously replaced the hooks. Um, this is a good color as well, you know, the chartreuse belly, light blue on the side, and a blue back, you know. These fish love that stuff. So as you notice, I got one here that's rigged up. It's another thing we do that some of you guys in the, in the Delta might do as well. I'm sure a lot of you guys do, and yes, for a bit. Uh, we, we use these worm tails here. These little worms. They're actually, what I use is these guys right here. They're zoom trick worms, okay? So I attach the zoom trick worm on the back of this, this lure. What that does, it makes a nice wobble. Uh, a little bigger profile, but this white attracts them. We all know the white and chartreuse kind of driving nuts. So I, I put that on there as well. And uh, be surprised how many times they just, you know, they'll miss it and they'll keep coming back. It just, I don't know, it kind of drives them nuts, okay? Um, I know there's guys that use these same lures too. You fish a place like, like we have over in, um, over in Brisbane, San Francisco, over the tubes. You can just cast one of these out in the current while the, while, while the water's rushing out of those tubes. Let it sit there and do its thing. You know, you'd be surprised how quick you get hit. You know, it looks like something's just kind of chilling in the current. These stripers like to ambush and stuff. You'd be surprised how quick you'll get bit. Okay. See, so you different colors, different patterns, different color worms. So, go ahead and check those out from P Line. Let me show you what they look like when they're brand new in the package. I got some of these the other day in the mail from P-Line, so I can, I can show you guys in this video what they look like. You'll find these guys all over, West Marine, Bass Pro, your local tackle shop. Um, even Walmart has them nowadays. But uh, like I said, I try to go for these colors that look like bait. You know, anchovy, whatever you want to call it, herring, sardine, you know. This is a important part of the fishing I do in the bay and on the boat. 
shore boat. This is one of the rods I use in the bay. One of my, probably my favorite rods. It's got a low key 400 HD. Okay, this is a really smooth, really good reel. A lot of power, it's about 24 pounds of, of drag or so. Um, really inexpensive, it's a new company. Like I said, I've been working with low key for probably a little over a year now. They got some good stuff, okay. This is one of my old school rods here that I've had for years. It's kind of one of those ones I didn't want to let go. It is from Cousins. It's, if you can find one, man, go ahead and grab one, okay? But well, this one right here is a 755T. Uh, there was different models of it. You know, there's a Greg Silks model and just the regular one. This is a 12 to 25 pound line rated rod. It'll cast between a half to three ounce lures. 7.6, extra heavy. I have yet to find one kind of similar to this from Seeker. You, know, you guys know I work with Seeker now. I do have one that's gonna be, it's getting wrapped soon. Um, kind of similar, so can't wait to get that in the water. But for now, this is, it's my workhorse. It's been doing everything. I got, what I got here is some 40 pound braid. Um, you know, there you go, with the swim bait. My fluorocarbon to a snap, my swim bait. And what I have attached here. You see, it's the RP knot, or some of you guys know it as the Alberto knot. Okay, I go from the braid straight to my to my leader material. The reason I do that is it's a cleaner connection, and I don't want you know any swivels or any other other junk in the way when I'm casting. You know, it just kind of it really affects you. Um, so the other thing you guys can go over, um, fishing from shore, get yourself a medium action, medium medium heavy rod. Like seven, six, kind of similar to that, 12, 25 pound. You do spinning, you know, you can use like a nice 3,000, 4,000 size spinning reel, get yourself a good one. There's um, some good reels out there. You know, your braid, obviously your 30, 40 pound braid, make sure it's slick. I don't like the regular like power pro setup that's up, it's like rope, doesn't work. Um, you guys can use it, but you wanna get a better, if you wanna get a better cast, a lot smoother, have a lot more distance, use something like that. Uh, that'll help you a lot okay so I hope this kind of helps you guys out and you fish the bay like I said there's lots of spots right now that everybody's at home during quarantine man go out and fish um, for me it's a little tougher you know I got kids and stuff and they're they're home being schooled now so it's kind of tough for me to just up and leave and leave them here so uh, but I will be out there soon I've already done some experimenting you know in the bay Go back to some of the spots that I grew up fishing. So, and see me out there, you know, hey, why don't you come up and say what's up? You know, bring a rod, come fish next to me. You know, I'm not one of those one of those guys that'll tell you, hey, can't fish here, none of that. But uh, yeah, hey, it's all fishing, it's all good. There's plenty of fish out there. Let's go ahead and get them. So you'll find me out there somewhere, you know. So until then, got some more videos coming. Um, as soon as this quarantine's over, we'll get back out there and we'll hit it hard. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see, what, what other questions you have regards, regarding tackle. Now that we're home, I got time to film it. So let's do this, you know. Um, I'll do a, do a giveaway for those Kalissas. I'll pull them out one more time. I'll show you. Yeah. There we go. I got two of these. Okay. Two of these lures are going to go with you guys watching this video. We'll determine how we're going to give them away and kind of go from there. Um, other than that, I think that's that will pretty much cover the whole, whole aspect of it. There's uh, a lot of spots in the Bay to fish. You got San Paulo Bay, you got San Francisco Bay, the whole Alameda side. Uh, you know, these, these stripers are they're everywhere. They're aggressive, they're predators. Um, so wherever there's bait, just, just try to match whatever bait's in the water and start casting the lure. It looks kind of, kind of like it. Uh, the one thing I didn't, um, didn't go over here, which I don't really use much. I know a lot of you guys love them. You know, all your metal jigs, your cast masters. I use them here and there. Uh, not really my thing. I'm more of a swim bait and a dirt bait kind of guy. That's why I love these kind of, these kind of baits right here. Your top water. You know, I love trolling for, for stripers in the bay. When I do troll for stripers in the bay, I go really fast. I go four and a half, maybe five knots. And um, 
And what I've noticed is when you, when you troll that fast, they hit, they get stuck, and they don't come off. Um, so we have had plenty of times where we go out, me and a buddy, JP Nasty, I took him out a couple years ago, and we had limits. Man, I can't even tell you. It took us longer to get to the spot to fish than what it took us to catch fish. Put it that way. Um, within half hour, maybe 45 minutes, we're done. Um, we were throwing fish back because just we knew there's a lot of them and we wanted bigger ones. We got our limit and we hooked up with another friend that wanted to come out. We went to the local marina and we were there picking her up. We took her out and it took us longer, like I said, to go get her and come back and uh, to catch fish. By the time we got out, we put the rods out, put the first rod out. You know, as I was working on putting the second rod out, the first rod got bit. It was a keeper. She was hooked up. As soon as we landed the first one, the second rod had... I went off too, got another keeper, we were done. Um, she looked at us and said, are you serious? That's it? I was like, that's it, we're done. So there's a lot of good fishing out there. I know we're all stuck at home. You know, a lot of marinas are closed, but there's a lot of shoreline in the bay. Your whole peninsula, San Francisco, you got Four Point, you know, all that stuff. It's really good. Uh, San Pablo Bay is really good. You know, I grew up fishing there as well. I got family up there. My dad lives up there. So a lot of good fishing there. You know, the whole Carquinas area, excellent stuff. So with that, you know, all that, you guys go out, do some fishing, have some fun. Hopefully this stuff works for you, it helps you out. This is just what I use. I know you guys are all different with, with your sort of the tackle, but this works really well for me. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I want to say shout out to all, all my fellow YouTubers. You got Mike's Tackle Box, I Fish Fresh and Salty Ernie can any fish can get it you know the whole mess of guys june we're in fishing so we're all local all local anglers but um we'll see some some future videos with us all together okay so until then we're out of here as mikey would say buenos nachos we're out see you guys